In this figure, we will draw the final common pathway for conjugate horizontal eye movements. Begin our drawing with a coronal view of the brainstem. First show the midbrain, denoted by its anterior line cruis cerebri, and then the pons, denoted by its plump anterior outpouching. Note that although we show the anterior segments of these brainstem levels, the eye movement pathways actually run within the posterior portion of the brainstem. Finally, draw the lowermost brainstem level, the medulla. Next, draw axial sections through the eyes. Before we continue our drawing, let's establish the diagram's left-right orientation. Label the inner space between the bilateral cruis cerebri as midline, then label the left side of the figure as anatomical left and the right side as anatomical right. Now let's draw the relevant muscles for horizontal eye movements. For simplicity, we choose to only show the muscles for eye movements to the left. Attach a lateral rectus muscle to the left eye and a medial rectus muscle to the right eye. Next, let's draw the cranial nerve nuclei involved in the final common pathway for horizontal eye movements. In the mid pons on the left side, draw the abducens nucleus of cranial nerve 6. Show that it comprises pools of motoneurons and interneurons. Indicate that the motoneurons innervate the left eye's lateral rectus muscle, which drives the left eye to the left, laterally. Now draw the oculomotor nucleus of cranial nerve 3 in the right side of the midbrain. It acts through the medial rectus muscle to drive the right eye to the left. To show how the inner neurons of the abducens nucleus stimulate the oculomotor nucleus, first draw the right medial longitudinal fasciculus. Show the left abducens inner neurons project fibers across midline to join the right medial longitudinal fasciculus. Next, indicate that these fibers ascend the medial longitudinal fasciculus to synapse on the right oculomotor nucleus. Finally, show the oculomotor nucleus innervate the right eye's medial rectus muscle, which drives it to the left, medially. This concludes our drawing of the final common pathway for conjugate horizontal eye movements.